welcome, welcome back to the channel and I'm in the 911, the 996. Uh, once again, it's the first time in a couple of weeks, but big news, I'm on 747 subscribers. That's not big news. That's no, that's no news. Anyway, hit subscribe. Get it up to 750, because that feels like a milestone to me. I don't know why, I don't even do any videos. But anyway, welcome back. Thank you for everybody who's hit like, subscribe, commented. And today, this morning, is the morning after the night before, because last night I was at the International Motor Film Awards in London. And it was immense. I have to thank uh, Grey Fox on Instagram for inviting me. Uh, it was lovely to meet him, him, him her, her sister, uh, Alex Goy, Kevin McCauley's. I met some fantastic people, saw some great videos. The event was uh, huge and fantastic. But a lot of the videos were just so loud in your face, not like a... It was just frantic activity in the videos. Apart from one of the ones, Lamborghini, it just felt like it was one of those that was trying too hard to be cerebral and a little bit out there. Look at me, I'm looking at a diagram of something really complicated and then there's a breakdown of something and then there's me looking in the middle distance, looking a bit pensive. And, uh, but a lot of them, nearly all of them were fantastic. Uh, it was a shame more people couldn't be there to pick up their awards, but I really enjoyed it. Um, obviously the end of the night when you're in London, I should have stayed over somewhere so I could have probably gone out. But instead, I embarked on my two hour journey home um, at 11 o'clock. So I got home at 1 a.m. I was starving because there was a problem with the timing so they didn't do the serving of the food. And I didn't really, oh, I, you know what? I saw a Burger King and I could smell it and I was thinking, oh, should I get a burger? Anyway, enough about that. I'm in the 911, the 996, and I realize uh, obviously the light's still on for the brake pads. Uh, the brakes do still work, but I know I've got a fair amount. So once the light comes on, you've still got a fair amount of use. Because um, at first I was thinking, oh, I'll just get it done. But I've called Jack, spoken to him, getting it booked in for an oil change, pads and discs. Now I know I've got the bleed nipples somewhere, new ones. <clears throat> um, the like galvanized ones but obviously the problem is that because you've got steel bleed nipples and you've got aluminium calipers whichever way around it is that the two metals coming together and they bond together or and then you know, they strip the threads and then you've got to have it tap and get oversized oversized nipples oversized nipples that's, that's, I'm so tired <laughs> I'm going to We just recorded the podcast that's just gone out. I put an Instagram post out on it. And I had a fit of giggles on that. I think I'm just overtired all the time. I don't know what's wrong with me. But, um, but coming up, I'm going to get those things done on this car. I, do, the, I think it is the, the, on the 912, I think it is the steering damper that's failed. So I need to research where I can get one. It looks fairly straightforward to do. It's a couple of bolts on, but it depends how easy it is to get to. Will I have to drop the rack? I don't. I have no idea. I've not researched it. So if anyone's got any ideas, let me know. Comment. Uh, you can contact me on Instagram as well. And give me some ideas for guests on the podcast. Um, by the way, the thing that I forgot to say right at the beginning was that I am on a milk run because we've run out of milk. And it's an urgent milk run, but not for my children. This time it's for me, so I can have morning cereal. But also, I left the house in such a rush, and then I got stuck in traffic, and uh, I really need the toilet. I mean, I'm not being gross, because it's only for a number one. Um, but that's it. There's nothing else that I wanted to share at this point, but there should be some interesting stuff coming up. Van driver driving very fast and close behind me. I am at the speed limit. Um, and also the tire pressures, I haven't sorted them out. But I still love this car. I really do. What am I gonna call this video? That I 
ever do need to pee? I don't know. Anyway, short video. That's it. That's the only update. Uh, I want to catch you on the next video because I'll have more updates then on this car. The screen's a bit. Oh, uh, uh, I haven't changed the wipers. See, look, look how, look how close the van driver is. I still like that it's got go at you know fourth gear at 30 miles an hour. It's brilliant. I know that now that I've said that, one day it's going to explode. Oh yeah, and I got the ah the screen wash lights come on as well now. I hate multiple warning lights, but um, the screen wash is kind of summer berries scent, which I put in because um, that's all they had at Halfords. But anyway, I want to do some more things with this car. I did want to do the pads and discs myself, um, but I don't want to do it on the driveway. I've said that before. There's a garage up there, which is just like the garage I want. I'm so jealous. Uh, and I've been getting more garage quotes, and it's still so that dude is on my side of the road. The, the cost of everything is so extreme. I just need to get myself a digger, I think. Um, if anyone's ever done their own like garage, created the base, retaining walls, you know, got themselves a digger, did all that stuff, let me know. Let me know how easy it was, how difficult it was. Uh, the, the the things that you got stuck on, whatever it might be, and uh, and I'll give an update on that next time. Anyway, thank you for watching. Uh, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, comment, and uh, message me anything to do with the podcast on Instagram. Uh, catch the latest podcast, and uh, I'll uh, see you on the next video. Thank you.